Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dom. I'm Steve. And we're doing a special Thanksgiving episode of the Stumbling Shop. What we're doing today, we're making a couple of things for you. Number one, butternut squash. Ooh, soup. Squash. <laughs> soup. Making soup. I know you're thinking this might be a little tough, but it is so simple. Your family's going to be impressed. And guess what? You're still going to be able to go out the night before Thanksgiving, hang out with your friends from junior high school, get a little wasted, have a couple of drinks. This is definitely the meal for you. It's easy, it's quick. Uh, we'll show you how to do it. It is delicious. Everyone's gonna love it. Yeah, people are gonna like it. Make it. All right, we're gonna peel this uh, butternut squash right here. So you wanna take the edges off. So for those of you at home who feel you can use a peeler, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get a peeler, but uh, we don't have one, so we're doing it this way. Let's scoop out the seeds, get them all out of there. How much garlic did you use? Just like four cloves. All right, so this is the pressure cooker. We're gonna do pressure cooker 101. Right over here, this is a steam valve. When you're cooking and you have this thing closed, you have to have this zero lined up with this arrow. That holds all the heat in. Let's go to the settings. I know it looks a little confusing, but it's actually very simple. First, we're gonna use the saute button. We're gonna saute the onions, and you have to really focus. You have to stir it constantly, otherwise you're gonna burn the onions. After doing that for eight minutes, we switch to soup mode right over here, and we cook it for 30 minutes. Pretty easy. So right now, we're gonna be sauteing the onions. We're gonna hit the saute button. You gotta do a time adjustment. It starts to go up, and then you bring it down to Eight minutes, I think, sounds good. Start slowly putting in our onions. I definitely suggest using a wooden spoon. This is the one part of the cooking time where you really gotta pay attention. You, do gotta, you have to stir it because you don't want the onions to burn. Now I would say roughly a tablespoon, so let's see. What is a tablespoon? Uh, it's like a yeah, spoon. There we go. That's, I don't know what that is. That's good. Yeah, it's good. A lot. There we go, there we go. Just keep stirring, okay? You have to put the onions first because uh, they take longer than the garlic. This burns quickly, all right? You gotta pay attention, you gotta stir this. Give it a good stir every about 10 seconds. Pretty simple. Onions in there. We're gonna throw some curry powder in there too. Hope you guys like that. Yeah. Yo, you work out? I, I stir, bro. I, just, I, just, I go to the gym and I just do this. So at this point, the onions they're starting to get brown. They're soft. Usually I wait for the whole eight minutes, but in this case, I think we're ready for the next step. And you can always eye it. You don't always have to go by the timer. In fact, it's better if you go by the feel. When you feel it soft, when you see it start to turn brown pretty much ready for the next step. We throw in our curry, garlic. You really want to give it a nice stir. All right, so at this point, you want to hit the cancel button. We don't want it to saute anymore. We start to add in our butternut squash. Just be careful when you put it in. Three cups of water. Spin. 
So we gotta put the lid back on after you got the squash and the three cups of water in there. Make sure that the valve, the circle, is matched up with the arrow. We go to our settings. We go to soup. Go to 30 minutes. That's it. If you have a food ninja at home, I highly suggest using that over what we're using. But hey, we're making do with what we got in the kitchen. Alright, so we're gonna put what I got. It really depends on what you want. If you want to make it a little sweeter, use the whole can on the whole batch. If you want to make it a little bit more healthier, coconut milk has sugar in it. I don't even really care about that though. So we're gonna use the whole can today. We're gonna make it sweet. Yeah, it does have the curry. Right. Yes, it does have the coconut milk, but the butternut squash flavoring is still by far the most powerful flavor in a soup, as it should be, because it is but butternut squash soup. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving. Steve, thanks for coming down and sharing your recipe with us. But don't forget to like and subscribe and keep coming back. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. <laughs>